All right, so one of the things that we think about when, when we're sort of teasing apart the different plant pathogens is where exactly do they survive uh, over the winter. So when, when the corn plant's not here, if we're talking about corn pathogens, so when, when the corn plant's not here, where does it survive? And so some of the options that you have is sometimes they can survive on the seed. And so um, you could have a, a seed that's been infected and then the next year, when it when it gets planted, you know the pathogen could be carried over on that seed. That's that's more common with some of the viruses that are out there, uh, but that that's that's one possibility. Another possibility would be in the residue. So if you look at the uh, what we have down here, some of the old residue from from previous crops. Sometimes the pathogen will survive on that residue, and and then when the conditions are right, it'll produce more inoculum or more, more of that pathogen to be able to infect that next year. Uh, other times it can survive um, on the, it, directly in the soil, or sometimes it's gonna survive on live tissue. And so we have, uh, where we're standing right here, we happen to have a, a couple of different diseases that, uh, where the pathogen survives in different areas. So let's, wor let's work through some of those. Let's start with a pathogen that's gonna survive uh, in the soil or on the residue. And so this happens to be a crazy top of corn and the pathogen is actually uh, an oomycete and so that's going to be one that actually survives in the soil. And then infection actually occurs fairly early in the season where you have the, the spores are going to be splashed. So it's going to be rain uh, driven, splashed up into the whirl of the corn plant and then infection happens much earlier in the season and then it sort of manifests or shows up later in the season. Another example would be corn smut. And so we happen to have uh, some corn smut here. Again, the pathogen is gonna survive uh, in the soil and then you can, you can get infection fairly early in the season or really at any time in the season, but that's a good, good example. Another good example of a pathogen that's gonna survive in the soil. Now, if you look at this particular leaf right here, we have a couple of different diseases that are showing up. You have one that is gray leaf spot. This is that long boxy looking lesion right here. This is one that actually is gonna survive in the residue. And so if you look at previous year's um, uh, residue from, from, from previous years, you'll see the spores will uh, survive in these lesions earlier in the season. The, the spores are gonna be produced. They'll splash up onto uh, younger plants, and then a lot of, that's why a lot of times you'll see that infection happening on these lower leaves, and then the disease sort of moves up the canopy if, if the conditions are right. On this same leaf though, we actually have southern rust that's started to move in, and this is a particular fungus that won't survive on the residue. What it needs, it actually needs a living plant uh, material, and so this, this particular disease, uh, the pathogen survives on living tissue and that living tissue is gonna be further south. And so we always say, you know, obviously winters here in Iowa, you don't have corn plants that are gonna survive in you know, the, the conditions. And so that pathogen has to figure out a way to move up from the south where it does survive on, on the living tissue and it, it moves up into Iowa each year. And so just in this particular spot, you have pathogens that are surviving on different, uh, in different ways, but they all manage to get onto the corn plant.